it's me, the ukulele teacher, here to teach you how to play the theme tune from the Netflix spectacular Stranger Things. So, grab your uke. Make sure it's in tune, and if you need help tuning your uke, then be sure to download my free app, the ukulele app, right now. And when it is in tune, your uke should sound like this. Before we go any further, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more lessons like this one, and make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications so you never miss a lesson. To begin with, I'm just going to go ahead and play you the entire theme right now to give you a rough idea of how it should sound when you've learned it. Now the good news is, even though this is a fairly complex finger-picking style song, you only actually need to learn about six basic chords with your left hand to be able to play it. These are the chords that you'll need for the song, if you already know them, then skip ahead now. To play the chord of E minor in this song, put your first finger on the first fret of the second string, and your third finger on the fourth fret of the third string. And for this version of the chord, we're actually going to miss out the middle finger altogether. So the chord of E minor will sound like this. To play the chord of C major 7, put your second finger on the second fret of the first string. And the chord of C major 7 will sound like this. And the reason why we play it with our second finger is so that we can easily move up to the next chord, which is E minor 7, where you just add your first finger to the second fret of the third string. And the chord of E minor 7 should sound like this. To play the chord of C, we're going to put our middle finger on the third fret of the first string, and the chord of C should sound like this. But we're also going to play the chord of C just by putting our fourth finger on the seventh fret of the first string, which we'll call C2. And the chord of C2 should sound like this. And we're also going to play E minor 7 by putting our first finger on the second fret of the third string, and our fourth finger on the fifth fret of the first string. And here the chord of E minor 7 will sound like this. So we'll call that E minor 7 2. Now the intro is nice and easy because we just play that E minor chord and we scrape up and down, up and down, up and down really fast with our fingernails on the strings, starting quietly and getting louder as we get on to emulate the sound of the synthesizer creeping up at the beginning of the song like this. Now the rest of the song is a lot more complicated than that, but I'm going to break it down for you into nice bite-sized chunks, so even though it'll take a lot of practice, it should seem relatively straightforward. Now hearing the song at full speed, it sounds really complicated and difficult to play, and that's because there's a fairly complex right hand finger picking pattern that I'm going to teach you in a moment. But to break it down for you to make it easier for you to understand, I'm just going to call out the chords in the song so you can see with the left hand I'm not actually doing much and so you get an idea of how the song is put together. Basically, the song goes from C major 7 to E minor 7 to E minor, and then back down from E minor to E minor 7 to C major, twice like this. Then on the second time in the E minor, we finish it by playing three downstrokes on the C2, the E minor 7 2, and back to C major 7, like this. And then we finish it with three more downstrokes on C, E minor 7 2, and E minor, like this. And basically, even though the right hand is doing a lot of work, the left hand is a fairly easy job. So the first thing I recommend you do is just learn the chords, so you can play the song without worrying about them too much. Now we've learned the chords to the song, let's go ahead and learn the tough part, the finger picking pattern for the right hand. To begin with, I'm just going to play it through for you slowly a few times on the C major 7 chord. Now I know it's starting to get a little bit complicated here, but there are two more things we need to learn when we're learning the finger picking pattern. The first thing we need to learn is what strings we're playing, and the second thing we need to learn is what fingers to play them with. So the first thing I want to do is teach you what strings we're playing. The basic pattern of the strings is repeated over and over again. Three, two, four, 
one, pull off, four, two, three, two, four, one, pull off, four, two. What I'm doing is playing strings three, two, four, and one normally. Then all on the first string, I put my third finger down onto the third fret of the first string and pluck it once. And then I pull off the third finger, but leave my second finger down, so I get the second note. Then I play four and two. So without worrying about what fingers I'm plucking with, the notes are three, two, four, one, pull off, four, two. So we need to also play it with the right fingers. And the reason we try and play with the correct fingers is because it means we need to move our hands around even less. And the best way to play this pattern, I find, is using my thumb. So the fingers that I'm playing are thumb, two, thumb, three, pull off, thumb, two, thumb, two, thumb, three, pull off, thumb, two. So it's not a massively difficult pattern to play, but timing is very, very important. So I recommend playing it nice and slowly at first before you start to speed up. At full speed, it'll sound like this. But right now to begin with, I want you to play it at about half that speed or maybe even slower, counting like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and thumb two, thumb three, pull off, thumb two, thumb two, thumb three, pull off, thumb two, thumb two, thumb three, pull off, thumb two. Now believe it or not, that is the hardest part of the song to play. So I don't care how many times you have to play it, just play it again and again and again so that your right hand can do that pattern without having to think about it. It is a real brain twister to begin with, but if you start off slow and practice playing it again and again and again, then I promise you it will get easier. Now that you're hopefully comfortable with that finger picking pattern, let's start to play the rest of the song. It starts off by playing that whole pattern three times on the C major seven, like this. One. Two, three. Then we play the first half of the pattern on C major seven like this. And then we play the first half of the pattern on the E minor seven like this. And then we move up to the E minor and play the full pattern three times on that like this. One, two, three. And then again we play the first half on E minor and the first half on E minor seven like this. And we go back to that C major seven and start to repeat the whole thing again, like this. But this time, instead of going back down from the E minor to E minor seven to C major seven, we play three sort of pinches of each chord on the chord of C2 E minor seven two and C major seven like this. And then the final four lines, we play the whole pattern three times on C major seven. One, two, three. And then we play three pinches on C, E minor seven two and E minor to end like this. C, E minor seven two, E minor. And basically, that is the entire song. So I'm going to go ahead and play the whole thing through for you nice and slow. See if you guys can follow along. One and two and three and four and... So basically you need to practice playing this song really, really slow because there's a lot of things you need to remember. On the left hand you've got your chords and on the right hand you need to remember what strings you're playing and what fingers to play them with. So if it helps just take it nice and slow and don't be afraid to repeat it over and over again 
Because when you put the whole thing together, it's not actually that difficult. It's just five or six very, very straightforward chords. And that's how to play the theme tune from Stranger Things on Netflix. I've been the Ukulele Teacher. If you have any requests for future lessons, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe and turn on the notifications so you never miss a lesson. Until next time, I love you all and I wish you the best.